Howdy guys, I'm TJ Arnault with Wildlife Dominion and Hog Eye Cameras, and we're here today to show you how to set up a big pig panel trap. You may recognize this fellow, I'm gonna let him do his own introductions. Though. All right guys, I'm David Ellis. They call me Yawk Yawk. Y'all see me from my podcast and my YouTubes and whatnot. Do a lot of pig trapping, so you've got a big pig trap, panel trap. We're gonna show you how to put it together. So this is how it will come if you choose to get the custom carrying trailer. So that is an optional piece. So it may come to you on a pallet. You may come and pick it up from us and put it on your own trailer. But this is the custom carrying trailer that's available through Big Pig Traps uh, for your panel trap system. So this one here that we have today is what we call a two by eight. That means it has two gates and eight panels. You can customize that to however many pieces you want, but this is the most common option. So this is gonna be the one that we're setting up today. So in the world of traps, this one is by far the most self-explanatory. Whenever you have your trap in transit from one location to the next, uh, we always prefer to put your gates on the outside or you just put your gates where you can get to them first. Uh, the reason for this is because you always want to set your gates up first and build the rest of the trap around it and it just makes it easier on you. I know David may be able to speak to that a little bit more. Yeah. So the gates come in two sections and if you're by yourself you can unpin the inner section and take out the outer section and then put it back together. I have help so we can grab these, take them off, and set them together. All right, you want to hold this one up and I'll get the other one? Okay. Come around to the other side. So now I'm gonna show you how to unpin these gates and move them if you're by yourself. It's much easier this way if you're moving or setting up the trap uh, alone and it, it, it reduces the weight and it makes it less cumbersome. Take those two pins out. You're gonna take the same two pins out on the other side, set them aside. Now, The frame of your gate is separate from the face. That makes it to where each piece is very manageable for a single person. So if you do have the custom carrying trailer with your panel trap, all of your pins to put the trap together will be housed in here. If you don't, these will typically come in a bucket or included with the camera system. I personally like to put my gates together. It kind of makes more open room for those hogs when they come up there. They may walk by that first open section, but when they see that, op that second open section, it makes them feel more comfortable to come in and feed. All right. Now, while TJ is getting the other piece, now you're probably wondering how do you get one piece to stand up uh, if you are by yourself. Now, like I said, you're gonna to have to put a T-post up. A lot of times I drive a T-post and let that set against one. And then when we get the other section together, we can put a little V in it, a little angle, and uh, they'll stand up on their own so you can put the rest of the sections together. What's up just a little bit. So one thing you always want to make sure of is that the face of your gates and the wire is on the inside of the trap. That way whenever the gates drop and the pigs are trying to get out, they're pushing up against the wire and the frame instead of pushing out just against these pins. So wire is always on the inside of your trap. So now we got a little angle in it and your, your trap panels will stand up and that way you can move around pinning in the rest of it. And also always make sure with the pins that come with it that on, on special on these, like to have those pins with the L facing out. That way no hogs can get in there and uh, during that bumping and carrying on that they don't knock one out and separate the panels. So the big pig panel trap was actually designed with single person set up in mind. So each one of these panels only weighs about 65 or 70 pounds to make them easy to move and set up by yourself as so. around 
out with it. Bottom one. There we go. So like David just showed, if you're on slightly unlevel ground sometimes, or actually all the time, it can be easier to put the bottom pin in first. That way, once your bottom pin is in, you can tilt the tops together and drop in your top pin. That's right, and also, as you can see, he come to the other side. I wouldn't recommend building from one side all the way around, just because when it gets time to be able to put those last two pieces together, it's easier to pull on just a few than maybe one long section or even the gate side. That's it. Make sure these pins are facing outward. Last thing you want is a whole jumping hog to come in there, knock that out or down there, and lose all your hogs. So, like David was saying, if you put it together evenly, going around both sides, once you get good at it, you'll be really close whenever it comes to the end. So, we've got four panels on each side. Now, all we have to do is just tilt it in and it's gonna go right there together. So here is the box that your hog eye camera system will come in. All big pig traps are paired with the hog eye camera systems and the only pieces for your trap that are not included separately are gonna be the latches. So the latches for the gates are in this kit box that's included with the hog eye camera. These are the latches for the gates on your trap. Uh, they are made to be extremely durable. They're silicone injected and they come with the bolts to attach them to the trap gates. So if you'll notice, this bracket is welded onto one side of the frame. That is so whenever you put your latch on here, it can be actually housed under this bar to give it an extra layer of protection. And then also you'll notice that it's shaved off on one side. That is to make sure that this plate doesn't interfere with this latch mechanism. Another thing to consider is this does not need to be super, super tight. So if you have a little bit of slack or play in it, it'll uh, keep it to where it can move freely and work properly. So you can of course make it as tight as you want, but it is not 100% necessary. Also included with your big pig panel trap is gonna be a gate chain for each gate that you receive. The purpose of this is to clip on to the bottom of the gate, raise it up, and then transfer it into set mode by connecting it into this latch. So we'll do that right now. So come down here to the bottom, under your latch, clip that on, and then raise it up from the center. Once you get this all the way into the upright position, this is very simple. It will just click into the latch like so. Alrighty, so once you raise it all the way up and have it connected into this latch, make sure all the weight is suspended on the chain. Make sure it's not in a bind from side to side or too high. So all your weight from your gate should be suspended on this chain that's clicked into this latch. So as far as being safe around a big pig panel trap, there's a couple things you wanna keep in mind. If you go under your gates without some type of safety strap or tie around them, uh, you wanna to try to avoid doing that. If you go under the gates, tie them up securely, or if you don't wanna worry with that, you can always pull pins and create yourself a door to walk in and out so you don't have to go under the gates. So when using a panel trap, the best place to mount the camera is on the outside of the trap opposite from the gates. You want your camera up high to where your IR light is not glaring off of the panels. That way you can look down into the trap and out through the gates and see any pigs that may be standing outside that haven't yet come into the trap. So a quick tip is if you don't have an eight foot T-post, which these are really nice, but uh, they're less common than the six foot variety, you can always zip tie one T-post on top of another to get you the height that you need to get over these panels. 
So the hog eye camera is going to come with this protective lens cover. Go ahead and remove that. And then one another good tip is you can remove the lens of this camera system and then you can also tilt this camera lens down. That's to get you a more centered view of the trap when the camera is up in the air. And then to get this lens back on the camera, you're gonna see the little indentation on the bottom. Make sure that is facing straight down and just push firmly. And then it's gonna pop right back on there. And then once again, to get that off, you give it a little quarter inch turn counterclockwise and it just pops right off in your hand. So included with the hog eye camera system that comes with your trap is gonna be the brackets to mount the camera, the antenna, and the solar panel to the T-post. So go ahead and attach these on there and then we can move over to the trap itself. One thing to keep in mind from the very beginning, even when you, before you start to pre-bait the site to trap hogs, is always keep in mind your directions. You always want your solar panel facing south to where it gets the best possible sunlight. So before you put your bait in the field, make sure you put it in a good spot to have full exposure to the south sky to charge your battery as best possible. So here's the solar panel bracket that's included with your camera. You may choose to use this or you may go away with it and just use a zip tie to hold it on your T-post. But if you were to use this, now would be the time. You will put this on your T-post and have it just about in this position to hold your solar panel in the upright and open position so it can get the best sunlight possible to charge your battery. Along with the camera head, the IR light is adjustable up and down. You want to have it facing down and towards the center of the trap to give you the best view possible after hours at night whenever most of your pigs are going to be coming in the trap. What David's doing right now is connecting the antenna cable from the antenna to the bottom of the camera. This is how your camera is going to achieve service and connectivity so it can have the best possible chance to get you connected in those remote areas. One of the most important pieces of paper included with your hog eye camera system is your FAQ sheet. It will tell you many of the things that you need to know about the camera. And the first thing on here is a section about batteries. The battery is not included. You want to get one of these yourself and you want to follow our recommendations for proper sizing and type of batteries. This is very important and will help you out in the long run as most of your problems as they arise will come from power. So the more you can get ahead of this, the better battery you can get and the less problems you'll have in the long run. So another one of the cables that's included with your hog eye camera is going to be your power cable. Everything on this system is color coded. Yellow to yellow, green to green, blue to blue, and black to black. If you find yourself at any time plugging something into something that doesn't match, you need to take a step back and reevaluate. Another thing to keep in mind, which it sounds self-explanatory, but always remember to put your red to the positive side of the battery and your black to the negative side of the battery. This will keep everything as it should be and good to go. You're going to take this power cable and thread it through the hole on the side of the box. That way you can go from the charge controller to the camera and power your camera without your cabling laying on the ground. With your trap it will come with a foldable solar panel that you will unfold. It's very light, very durable. Uh, on the back side it will come with your cable which is velcroed together. You will take that also on this end and as you come in your charger inside you'll go through the hole that you took the rest of your wires through and you'll plug it up. I prefer to pull all my wires in inside the box keep them safe and secure from everything else and ever how, however you choose To secure your solar panel, whether it be just a lay on top, zip tie, or use a solar panel bracket, you are ready. Just give it that south facing, keep your battery rolling. 
So as you go around the trap with your gate cable, you're gonna wanna put a zip tie every so often. This will keep your cable up off the ground, out of the mud and out of reach of the pigs and the coons and other things that like to play with cables. So if possible, you wanna put some zip ties right here to keep your connection secure and plugged in. That way if the pigs move the gate when they hit it after you drop, it won't be pulling against any of these connection points. So this keeps it safe and secure. Uh, gate cable, we're going to plug it into your splitter here. And then we'll run this down through here. And then we'll also take the other uh, clear in. I need the adapter. Got the adapter, I'm sorry. And we'll plug it into there. So and then we'll take this and plug it into the latch. And just like previous, we'll zip tie it up for uh, stability and structure and keep it in place. Good. All right, now we're up and running and live streaming. You can see we got a wild yacht yacht inside the trap. We we'll use that camera as pre bait. He's drawn to it. So now that we're ready to catch him, we want to push these buttons right here, these down arrows. We're going to press yes and the gates fall. It's as simple as that, and you're ready to go. With that, you're ready to start catching pigs. If you ever have any more questions or feel like you have any problems, just give us a call at the number below. You can hit us up on phone, Facebook, social media, email, for any questions you may have. And big thanks to Mr. David Ellis for coming out today to set us up. He's got one final tip to send us off with. <laughs> hey, I hope y'all enjoy setting up, us watching us set up this uh, big pig trap panel trap. Hope it helps you a lot, but remember, don't use up all your help on setting it. Wait till you catch them and need help dragging. Come on.